Hey everybody, it's BriarhorseFan101 here. I just want to wish you guys a happy Thursday, Thursday, August 16th, I believe it is. <laughs> Hopefully that's when this, get up, this gets uploaded. But yeah, I just wanted to make a video. I know it's been uh, a couple of weeks since my last one. And I know I was like, oh yeah, stay, stay tuned for more. And then it never happens. Sorry, it gets so, so busy. Work's been so busy. And now school's going to be starting up. It's my last semester. So I was super excited about that. So done with school. Um... So I've just been super occupied, super busy. So now I can finally make a video of horses that I have. Um, so as you guys probably already know about the Briarfest 2020 online experience or virtual experience, so to speak, um, I did not take a huge part of it. I was very busy working, so I couldn't take the time to actually like sit down and enjoy it. But um, it was it seemed to be uh, people had quite a uh, quite an experience. So, uh, I didn't, again, I didn't get the whole thing, but my sister, I watched her refresh about, refresh about 8,000 times trying to get what she wanted. And then they finally got rid of the, um, you only have one pick for the day. And then of course, then they released what time around things were going to be, uh, objects were going to be added online. So of course, a lot of confusion, a lot of craziness. I hope everybody got what they wanted, or if not, they can buy it afterwards for hopefully not as much, <laughs> but the special run is they're beautiful my sister got uh the one that looks like a rocky mountain horse uh beautiful beautiful horse and i really wish i could get them but trying to trying not to buy too many ponies right now i splurged too much for last christmas so i'm trying to trying not to do that again <laughs> but you know how hard it is with the hobby so anyway so yeah i hope everybody enjoyed that uh briarfest and i hope that the next year uh i'm super excited about the theme uh, already tons of ideas in my head. I try to be creative as possible. And, um, so I'm, I really want to go. It would be like a graduation present, I guess, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, it would be way after I graduated, but that's okay. We can still count it as that. So yeah, so we're really hoping to go. We're trying to figure out what's going on. I know Briar is very skeptical about next year, uh, that it might be online again which is kind of terrifying because <laughs> this was not not the same it you know it was nice that a lot more people could could get involved which i think was great then i think that now because they've done this briar fest that it's going to change uh the rest of briar fest for forever there might be like an online portion i have no idea but this opened a new window so to speak and i mean that's going to be a whole bunch of things now after the pandemic or hopefully after the pandemic Fingers crossed. <laughs> but anyway, so, sorry, enough of me rambling. Uh, so we're going to get into the horses. So this guy is super pretty. I love this mold. Um, he is uh, known as Reggie. And this is a beautiful celebration model. I wish I could have met him in person. I watched videos and stuff about him. Super cool horse. Uh, he's retired now. But he is, oh, he's great. Uh, super, super pretty. And the, I, I know this the glare is awful. You can see me more than you can see the horse. I apologize for that. But he is just so, so pretty. It looks like there's a giant line through him. But it's the box. Box is a little, <laughs> little messed up. But, um, yeah, so super, super nice. I know he has. he's not uh, out of the box yet, and it's bad because Briarfest was weeks ago. But we just got two new shelves, and we're trying to organize and save as much room because those pesky stalemates take up so much room where the traditionals could be going. So we're you know trying to get trying to get organized. So that's him, uh, and I I did not buy a ticket. I just bought him afterwards because I again wasn't as involved as I would have liked to be with the whole Briarfest experience, but. Hopefully next year we'll change that. So then my sister surprised me with this beautiful boy, home stretch. Oh, so stretch. Home straight. <laughs> Oops. Can't read. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, I wasn't expecting her to buy this because she had bought the same one for herself. And this wasn't necessarily from Briarfest. I, I'm not sure if she bought it like on the sale pages, like on Facebook. Uh, but she surprised me with this guy. She has one for herself. So we're, we're twins. Uh, this beautiful, beautiful look at him he is so so pretty oh my gosh so pretty and then this doesn't do him justice i should take some pictures like with a green or a blue background so you can see how nice he is i've never seen the crystals up close before this is the first time uh i don't think i'd ever show him but maybe just keep him in like a glass case or a mantle or something to like you know make people be like "Ooh, what's that because he is so so pretty 
so pretty. And I love how small he is. So tiny. And it's just, it's great. I don't know. I'm, I'm digging these. I think I might buy them from now on. So, oop, get in there, mister. Okay. So, really, really love him. Super, super cool. Crystals are, are sweet. And like I said, I might be starting that, to collect them now. So then, I got the one that started me on the crystals is Kelpie. I know a lot of people were not um, that happy with him. I even got my sister to buy one, so I think that I <laughs> I did a good job <laughs> convincing her. But he, I did take pictures of him. So pretty. Oh my gosh. He, I, not sure the exact difference. Maybe his ears are a little funky looking. Because uh, I know people were saying it's not exactly like the bouncer mold. But, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do this one-handed. I know, I still, still don't have my, my video camera. I need to buy a new one. That one's very old at this point. Um, so he, yeah, he's a, he's a little guy. The crystal is a little guy compared, especially to the box. I mean, but he's a pony to begin with, but so pretty. So just so nice. Like I said, this doesn't do him justice, but oh, so pretty. Yeah. Again, probably won't show him, but definitely, um, to have him as a, um, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a trophy. <laughs> I would, th I would throw them in there as a, or throw them up there as a trophy, as a trophy. Can't speak. Okay. So let's get these two out of the way. So then this is not my horse, just a forewarning. So Benelli, this is Benelli. So, uh, I was really skeptical about buying uh, models from the, the store because my sister did buy tickets and I was like, okay, well maybe buy them now before I have to buy them for a lot more later. So, um, cheesecake, I think he was cute but I, I'm not really keen on the color I have a horse that is a similar color to him and is, is a custom and doesn't do well at shows so I, I a different breed completely but um so I was, I was skeptical about that and then I can't remember the jumper's name at the top of my head but I'm not really huge on the the jumping mole that's more of my sister collects that so I was like okay you know I was like you know what this guy is really pretty I don't have any with bobs I don't have anybody on this mold I was like I'll, I'll go for him so I end up getting uh, Benelli, the glossy Benelli, so they're not going to come in until Christmas, so it'll be a Christmas present to myself, or more of my sister's present to me, because she surprised me, uh, again with a, with a horse. Super, super generous, so she got my Christmas present already, look at that! So yeah, I am super excited, um, yeah, this one's, again, this is my sister's, but I just want to show you guys if you don't know what Benelli looks like. Again, I'm sorry they're still in the boxes, uh, totally slacking, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, he'll be glossy, and I'm excited about that. I don't know if the amounts of the glossies came out yet, but the mats did. Um, I think all the special runs came out. Uh, yeah, I think it should all, all, should, all should be online at this point. But yeah, so super cute guy. I love drafters, so I need more, tons more. But again, trying to save my money right now. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there, definitely. So yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Um, it's... Uh, like a little, little Briarfest video, and I hope to see what's going on for next year and maybe start planning now, uh, like themes and stuff like that. I won't give that information out, obviously, but, um, yeah, just start talking to you guys about it, and I want to make more YouTube videos. I gotta buy a new video camera, just, again, <laughs> the time. Um, uh, my phone's not too bad, but anyway, so enough of me ranting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my new horses, and I definitely show you guys when Benelli, the real Benelli, my real Benelli, comes in. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.